A new Blender add-on has been released and it took the Blender community by storm recently. It is called Next Scatter, and it is from the same guys that were behind the add-ons Next Street V2 and Next Train V1. Its purpose is basically the same as GeoScatter, which is to scatter objects on another object, but this one is a lot cheaper than GeoScatter. This add-on is fairly easy to use and it has many simple and handy features. It also provides high quality, optimized and procedural instances and it allows you to customize it to what fits your scene best. Next scatter doesn't stop there because it has a library of assets that contains over 40 different high quality assets ranging from grass, plants to flowers. It allows you to modify a bunch of settings when instancing. For example, you can modify the scale and density and you can set random rotation and the viewport density to be able to work more comfortably in the viewport. You can also instance zoning to scatter only a specific geometry and that's by using white paint. And you can also add or remove vortex groups and you can set the clamping factor as well. Additionally, instances can be animated and this feature was made to bring life to your scenes. The procedural animation works on any asset you add. You can set the speed, distance and type of animation and you can also control the height of the tree mask. To get a smoother workflow in the viewport, the add-on has instance optimization where you can also modify the camera calling and offset and you can choose between three levels of detail. The camera calling feature is also an important one because it forces the scattering system to work only on the camera's field of view and holds any instances from appearing outside the camera border. Additionally, you can use collision interaction which is simply made to make the instance field interact with other objects that are moving around it. This add-on can be very useful for people who are working with large scenes that include a lot of objects and need to be placed in certain areas in a very short period of time. If you are interested in this add-on, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos, also please subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.